Hi guys, so I'm going to talk to you a bit about the actual inner workings of an actual website audit. So when you would implement a 404, or when your website triggers a 404 error and you want to implement a 301 redirect. That's the only thing I'm going to be talking about in this video because I'm going to break it all down. So on my site audit through SEMrush, it's basically come up saying 11 pages are returning a 4xx status code which is a 404 error as you can see and it lists all of these pages so if I click on the link for any of these pages I can see that there's a 404 error and that needs to be resolved now the reason that this happened was I had some dodgy plugin that was shortening my URLs and I think it chopped it down to that. Now, that shouldn't happen, but someone editing a website could do that or, or whatever it might be. And we don't want our website to be given off 404 errors because those initial URLs were indexed in Google. Now, when they're indexed in Google and then Google has seen 404 errors, it's basically saying to Google, I don't look after my website. I don't really like it you know, I'm not keeping it up to date and so on. So what I should have done and what I have done is implementing, or I will be doing, is implementing a 301 redirect from that particular um, URL there to the slightly shortened version there. Um, and that is what is effectively known as a 301 redirect. And it just basically means that when Google's bots are crawling your website and they do find these pages, you're redirecting them to the most, you know, the, the next most relevant page or the page that they're supposed to be going to anyway. And that is going to help Google crawl and index your website without any problems. Obviously when we do audits, mistakes do happen, things do break, and that's why it's really important that you do go in on a regular basis, audit the website, and go in and add those 301 redirects. Now the next question you probably got is how the hell am I going to add a 301 redirect? I'm not the most technical guy in the world, um, you might be saying to yourself. Now if you're not the most technical guy, then you can go in and I will find the plugin um, I use a plugin called uh, Redirection, I think it's called. Just let me see what it is. Do, 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 do. So the plugin for this actually comes under Tools, Redirection. And you can simply add a new redirect. So you can put in the initial URL and the new target URL, and that's it, job done. So I've done a whole bunch of redirects in the past, um, or over the past few days, obviously what you'll see is that stuff was audited on the 15th of January. I changed over my website and a few other bits and bobs and a few things went um, belly up. But you'll be able to see very quickly we went in and sorted those redirects out. So that is essentially what you have to do so that your website is not giving off those 404 errors. Now, obviously, if I was to rerun that campaign, that would all be cleaned up. My website gets a much higher score, and we're on the, the right track to um, getting that part of the website sorted. So that is how you deal with 404 errors and implement a 301 redirect. Very simple and easy. Also, if you, <laughs> if you don't use WordPress, I'll show you another way where you can actually do this to your control panel and do the redirect. So you simply go to the top one, which is redirects up here under the domains tab, click on redirects, and you can put in the uh, domain name with any trailing slash and whether it redirects to the, the you know, another domain, uh, the new domain name here. Now you can do uh, a wildcard redirect, which is basically going to do all of the different variations, which I would suggest that you do do. And that is how you implement a permanent 301 redirect from the back end of your control panel. And uh, that means you can do it there rather than doing it on WordPress, or if you've got another platform, you can do your redirects in here on the server, basically. And that's you doing a 301 redirect. Simple and easy. Thank you.